Guys, gals, fellow gender non-conforming pals, welcome back. I'm C28, and it's time for the fifth vlog. That's ten, this is five. I can count, right? Yeah. So we just started the second week of recording principles, and um, it's a bit confusing, I'll say that. We're diving into a bit more of dynamic processing, how to alter the amplitude of a signal in order to get different effects. Um, so we just finished up EQing, I, I put in my assignment for that. Uh, I expect to probably get a good grade on that, hopefully, I hope. Rocking a 4.0 right now, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I imagine 4.0 is not very doable for all the way through, but if it is, it is. Enough on that. Um, so today in lab, we were going over uh, more of the patch bay on a console, and we were adding effects such as um, EQing, we were adding reverb, we were adding compressor, we were sh showing how these um, modules interact with the audio and then thus your sound. Uh, we also did different uh, setups for miking. So we started uh, miking and doing vocals and then sending the audio back to the person hearing it so they can hear themselves. Um, how to do that without delay. So you'd want to send it from the small fader, not the large fader or the master fader because you're going to have all that processing, which will give you delay. So you want to give them the raw sound of what they're actually saying. They may not need to hear the compressor. So don't give it to them. Um, just give them what they need. So what's another good thing that we did? We did go over a little bit more on how stuff like compressors work, gating. So compressors and gates were the main things that we spoke on today in lecture. Um, Gates basically just being most people in the music industry are familiar with what a gate is. If you're not, here's what it is. It's a gate, like for keeping zoo animals in. But for audio, how it works essentially is that once your audio hits a certain threshold, the gate opens and everything goes through. But if it's below that threshold, the gate stops it and nothing gets through. Doesn't matter how loud it is, if it's not that loud, it's not going through. And the second it's that loud, even these frequencies are going through. Um, that's your gate. Yeah. Um, showing how to use that to mic up drums, for instance, is if you're micing up a snare, you want to get the snare. It's going to be the loudest thing you get, but you're also going to probably pick up every other drum in the area, most notably the kick. So what you could do is, if the snare is not hitting at the same time that the kick is, well, easy, just gate it. And then you put a gate on your snare, and now if it's just right, the kick's doing this, the snare's doing this, set your gate right here, kick can't get through, snare can, and you're set. And then different releases, so it's not feeling like it's going, tss, tss. it goes, tss, tss, you know, envelope stuff. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see. Uh, the end of this week, how things go, because compressor is going to be a very important thing for maintaining your uh, control over sound. Uh, a, a basic rundown of what compressors do is you have a bunch of high frequencies, you have a bunch of low frequencies, and they have different amplitudes. Compressors are going to take your low sounds, so low decibel count, and your high sounds, high decibel count, and push them. So they get everything compressed about the same. Um, and on the opposite of that, you have, you have an expander. It makes loud louder, soft softer. Um, compressors do the opposite to make everything the same. And it's said to be a difficult thing to hear, but I think I hear it pretty well. You can hear, you can almost feel it too, like in your ear. It's not a thing you um, hear but you physically feel inside your ear, like the difference of it. And oh, it's just tighter. It makes it tighter. It feels like if you let go, it's gonna explode. It's just tighter. And that helps you squeeze things in where they belong in the mix. But yeah, that's the uh, beginning of week two. I will shoot you the update at the end of the week, tell you how things went during this week. But that's what we got look, look that's what we have to look forward to. 
I will uh, certainly post another vlog if anything major happens between that time. But if it doesn't, just like last week, I'll see you in a few days. So, take care of yourselves. God bless. Take care, boy.